get started with Patrick Saunders. Patrick, go ahead. Well, first of all, buddy, um, I think it's important for all of us to recognize that it's Tom Harding's birthday today. So publicly wanted to wish Thomas Harding a happy birthday. Well, Patrick, I'm right there along with you. Uh, happy birthday, Thomas. Uh, happy 32nd birthday. He looks good for 32, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> um, first question out of the gate for you, buddy. I, I know Thomas was the only one down there at the end of the game. Uh, what was your uh, evaluation of John Gray's first spring start? Uh, yeah, his first official Cactus League start. He threw a, a B game back here against the Diamondbacks, uh, you know, five days prior. Uh, you know, I thought John yesterday, uh, Patrick, I really liked his stuff. Uh, you know, the ball was coming out really, really good. Uh, the velocity was, you know, up to 97, uh, you know, pitched at, you know, 95, 96. It's not all about velocity, but that's a good sign that John John's arm strength, uh, you know, showed up yesterday. I thought he had a good hard slider, a uh, good curveball, didn't throw a lot of change-ups. Uh, you know, he was, you know, the ball strike ratio wasn't great. Uh, ran some deep counts. He ran out of pitches. You know, we were hoping he would get, you know, into the third inning or, you know, potentially into the fourth if he had some quick innings. But, you know, he got to 60 pitches. It sets him, it sets him up for his next start uh, to get to 75 uh, and hopefully five innings and 75 pitches. But, uh, you know, I like the way uh, I like the way uh, I like the way John threw the ball yesterday. Yeah, my second question for you, buddy, coming into this camp, with your two, essentially your two new catchers, although Diaz you know, caught quite a bit toward the end of last year, uh, I think one of the things you wanted to establish was the relationship between your pitching staff right. and the young catcher, the two young catchers. Uh, how do you think that's gone? Do you think they're getting on the same page? Do you feel like there's a yeah. good vibe there? Yeah, you know, I feel good about it. I really do. Uh, again, you know, Dom has been in big league camp for five years. You know, he's been here since I've been here as a, you know, a catcher. Uh, you know, in our minor league system, developing to get to this point of being a guy that uh, we can really trust and, and count on, on the defensive side, and and we think there's going to be a little bit of a bat in there. So, uh, with him and Elias both, uh, you know, I think they've done a great job of, uh, you know, building relationship and trust with the pitchers. Uh, the pitchers have done a great job of reciprocating. Uh, conversation and information. Uh, it's been super collaborative between. Actually, all our catchers, but obviously those two guys, you know, look to be the guys that we're going to count on the most here uh, at the start of the season. But I thought I think that's gone great as far as the relationship building. Thank you, buddy. Thomas Harding. Yeah, buddy. As I turn sixty-six or whatever it is today, thank you, and thank you, Patrick. Uh, you have a Patrick has a day coming up in a couple of days. I think it's called St. Patrick's Day. Um, wanted to ask you a little bit about Ben Bowden and what you've seen out of him. The fact that, uh, you know, he's, he's a guy that the organization is expected to, to help you guys at this level. I mean, how close is he right now to being someone on your bullpen? Well, he's getting closer uh, for sure, Patrick. I think that uh, with Ben, uh, there's always been self-confidence and his ability to to pitch, uh, you know, to whatever level he's at, right? I think he pitched really well two years ago in, in 2019 and in AA, moved him to AAA. Uh, it was a little bit of rough sledding there in Albuquerque. And then, uh, you know, that year got a little bit banged up. You know, he's been a little bit, uh, I don't want to say injury prone, but some things have popped up physically that have, you know, really kept him uh, from staying on a nice path of development. So the key to Ben is to stay healthy. I think if he does that, I think he'll continue to build arm strength. He'll get more repetitions. I think his his his, his pitching will become more polished. But uh, you know, I think we all like the fact that you know there's an aggressive mindset there. Uh, he really has uh, conviction in his in his stuff. Uh, he's on the attack. Uh, he doesn't back down, uh, even though the fastball might not have you know upper end velocity. It has life to it and has carry through the strike zone. And the breaking ball is developing, so uh, he's getting closer. Is that amount of um, self confidence and also, you know, was a successful college guy? Does that put him on the radar even for the start of this season, or is that something that you'd rather see him pitch a little bit more? Well, I mean, you know, we'll we'll see. I think he's I think he still needs some time, but 
you never know. I mean, a guy can, you know, click and, and really throw the ball consistently well every time he takes the ball, then you really have to have a hard look at it. But uh, again, we got to make sure that physically he's in a good spot, that, uh, you know, he's holding his stuff over, you know, the rest of spring training here. Uh, and we, you know, we see some, you know, we see some incremental improvement in the breaking ball, uh, you know, just some, some little things that he has to clean up. Um, another guy kind of in that same category, or maybe not because he hasn't pitched in a while, Justin Lawrence, every time out uh, has been really good for you guys. I mean, where does he stand as far as development is concerned and the guy who, you know, obviously went through the suspension, but looks like um, the arm is there. Yeah, the arm's definitely there. You know, it looks to be back, uh, you know, to the form that, you know, put him on the radar, uh, you know, after that Arizona Fall League season uh, where he really opened our eyes with with velocity, you know, from that arm angle, uh, you know, the breaking ball improved. Uh, you know, it's, you know it's, and that's big stuff coming from, you know, that low three-quarter delivery with the ability to spin the ball. Uh, and then off track with uh, the suspension and last year with the with the with the virus uh, you know just he hasn't pitched you know so he just needs repetitions and we and he's got to get to the point where you know he's pounding the strike zone the walks are down uh, and he's getting his outs and he's maintaining his stuff I mean he physically he feels great right now it's early in spring most players do uh, but you know, the way he's throwing the ball now, it, it gives us a great deal of hope that, uh, you know, we have something on our hands in the future. But he needs to get out there more, uh, you know, become consistent in the in the strike zone. You know, there's been a few walks this spring and, and some deeper counts. But, you know, just sort of tighten up his whole game. And, uh, you know, it's been, like I said, it's been a couple of years since he's pitched. So uh, we got to get him back to, you know, in that, that normal regular season routine of, you know, of, of, a, of a relief pitcher. Yeah, has that has that been a bit of a pleasant surprise? Just how well he's thrown even here? Because I I would have suspected it would have been hard to be as good as he as he has been, considering how long. Yeah, he's been. it's it, it has been a surprise for sure. You know, we're hoping that there would be a bounce back, right, from what we saw in the fall league, and it's starting to show up now a little bit. So uh, again, that. Uh, you know that Arizona Fall League season was, was not misleading. I mean, it was it was real pitching with, uh, you know, with good stuff. And now we got to, you know, hopefully get back to, you know, to those types of uh, velocities and that type of pitching because he, you know, he put it together there for you know a couple month period in uh, in the Fall League. Uh, the the challenge for him is to be able to do that over an, an entire season. So uh, he's going to get the opportunity as long as he stays healthy to prove what he can do. Yeah, and um, I guess any update on uh, Rogers today? Better today. Uh, Keith came in, gave me a report, uh, said there's there's no pain. Uh, you know, the there's not a, a lack of strength. Uh, you know, there's no bruising like you see in a in a typical ham, hamstring strain. Uh, so a lot of the signs are positive. Uh, no timetable. Uh, we're going to continue to treat it, and, and, the, and the trainers and the strength guys will, will build him back up uh, to where, uh, you know, we all feel comfortable of getting him back on the field and increasing his baseball activities. Hey, thanks, buddy. All right, Thomas. Happy birthday, man. Thanks. Nick Groke, go ahead. Yeah, hey, buddy. Uh, back on John Gray. What were your parting instructions for him after last season? Was it all? or mostly to rest and recover the shoulder? What, what kind of advice did you yeah, have? Yeah, yeah, mostly on the physical side, to, to, you know, to get in the best shape possible, uh, you know, to make sure that he felt good about his arm and confident uh, when he started throwing bullpens and, and really started to get back into a throwing program with intensity. And also, uh, you know, to, you know to, to be one of our guys that we can count on. I think, John, I think John's always taken that responsibility in stride and, and and really uh, feels as though uh, you know he he understands that you know what it means to be a big league starting pitcher and what that means to you know the success of our team and he takes that to heart so you know the the message basically was let's get healthy and you know your expectation because he's been around long enough to understand so uh, it was more on the physical side and a, and a little bit of you know, really making sure that this year uh, he's in a good place, uh, not only physically, but mentally. 
You think, and I, I, I'm not asking you to compare him necessarily to the, to your other pitchers, but he really was at the beginning of this wave of pitchers that you have, these starting pitchers. Do you think he maybe does have a have a grasp of that responsibility? That's like maybe even a year advanced. You know, well, compared to some of the younger guys. Well, he's you know he's just a year ahead of those guys, right? I think sixteen was his, you know, where, you know, he came on the scene. Uh, you know, he understands it, right? I mean, he's been around, you know, obviously uh, all the time that I've been here and a year prior. That, you know, he knows my expectation. He knows the club's expectation of of that position as a starting pitcher and what that means. So, again, he uh, he understands that and he takes it to, uh, he takes it to heart. And then uh, with the shoulder, are you going to need to watch his pitch count early in the season at all? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, again, it was uh, last year was a little bit more of uh, you know a strain and strains heal. You know the muscles have healed his rotator cuff. You know it's uh, you know he, he's he feels good. He feels good. So I mean he's completely recovered. So I mean we'll monitor and watch all our guys as the season goes. But if there's there's no early season restrictions on John, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, gotcha. Thanks, buddy. Hi, Graham. Go ahead, Pat. Hey, buddy. Thanks for taking the time. Happy birthday, Thomas. Um, I guess just in regard to your bullpen, do you feel like almost you have to have a lefty just to have a lefty down there, like in the case of Ben or something? Or, or would you be comfortable with an all-righty bullpen? I think we'd be comfortable with an all-righty bullpen. Uh, again, I think the you just don't have a lefty to have a lefty. The lefty's got to be functional. And in a lot of cases, the lefty has to be able to get left-handed hitters out. And uh, you know, if we don't feel as though we have that guy right now, uh, you know, we're going to continue to you know develop those guys in the minor leagues. But you know, we feel pretty good about our right-handed pitchers and their talent and their skill level uh, to get major league outs. Most of the guys that project to make our team have major league experience of at least a number of years. And you know they've been through this before, so uh, again, it's not uh, it's not vital. Uh, it's it's a nice luxury to have a balanced bullpen, right? And and guys, you know, eight guys that you can really trust to to get both left and right-handed hitters out. Uh, and it's nice to have a lefty if if they're capable, but it's not it's not vital. That my, my follow-up would be this, this kind of looking into the season kind of thing, but. Uh, Forever, the Rockies bats get all the attention. How nice is it, or how excited are you for this this rotation and what they can do? Yeah, it's nice. I, you know, again, I think, uh, you know, this group has pitched well, uh, for the most part, over their early parts of their career, and I think that uh, it was shown, you know, in 17 and 18. Uh, 19 was a, a tough year for the entire pitching staff, and then last year I thought we threw the ball well. Uh, out of the rotation, and you know the bullpen uh, struggled as a group. You know there were some great individual uh, seasons uh, in the in the shortened season. Bard for one, and Almonte, and uh, you know a couple of uh, Kinley at times. Uh, you know threw the ball very well. So uh, again, but I'm I'm happy that uh, you know there's some national uh, acclaim to our pitching staff. All right, we'll finish up with. We'll finish up with Jenny. Jenny, go ahead. Hey, buddy. Um, just a couple of injury questions with Sensatella and Oberg. I guess more um, kind of the game plan for them. Do you do you have an update on what's next for both of those guys? Yes. Uh, you know, Oberg uh, will pitch again either uh, either to, I think tomorrow night out in out in Goodyear. Uh, he's feeling good. He's ready to get back on 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 the mound. He's fine. Uh, he's progressing great. We're happy where Scotty is. And Sensatella uh, is going to pitch tomorrow as well. Uh, we have a B game scheduled uh, here in Scottsdale against the Angels. Uh, that game will take place in the afternoon. Uh, Sense is going to throw three innings. Uh, Derek Rodriguez is going to throw four. Uh, so uh, Senses will be, he'll be competing against another team tomorrow and then he'll, and he'll throw five days later. So. Uh, you know, tomorrow will be his first uh, competition against another club. Uh, he's ready for that. Uh, he's excited. Uh, you know, his hamstring feels great. So, yeah, sense is in a good spot. Great. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. All right. Thank you, buddy. Okay, okay guys. And Jenny.